So there you are. I know you've been waiting all day for this and I also know you've been rummaging around my desk while I was downstairs having some lunch. But I feel ever so guilty Ollie because you've come in here specially because you know I'm about to start doing a video. And I'm really sorry but this isn't one that's going to include you. Because I'm going to use my new piece of equipment. So I'm really sorry. I'm very sorry. But you can sit up there and do some directing. That's Try not to break my finger on the way down, <laughs> but you can you can direct from there. It's just that nobody's going to be able to see you. And you've also got to promise me that you don't land on top of everything. That's a slight worry. But anyway, you've had the opportunity to say hello to everyone, haven't you? And I've already had comments that you've been missed and that I must do videos with you as well. So I think probably our next one will be the back to the family version. How does that sound? Is that good? You look a bit grumpy to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you never did mind. Me up. Yes. No, okay. no, I didn't wake him up. He got up there all by himself. Mm. Oh, there you go. Right, as long as, as long as you stay like that, that would be really good. So, so it's bye bye for Molly for now. See you soon. So hi there, it's Anne of Rosie Duck Designs here. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. So this is my second video of just me all by myself, albeit that my director is sitting above me and uh, half falling asleep. But uh, we're going to see how we get on with this one. I hope the last one wasn't too bad. So I said that I would be back to share with you the project using the larger die from the Petal Labels dies which very sadly are leaving us at, um, at the end of this catalogue season and they currently are available to purchase at a reduced price at £14.40 um, so already the little piece of paper that had all my little bits of details on of prices seems to have disappeared but never mind um, but yes, they are at a reduced price and they were featured in my previous video and there's actually three dies in total. There's the large one here. There's this one that we used last time. I've got no idea whether this is showing up in the camera, but um, I'm hoping it is. I'm reliably informed by my cameraman before he left that I've got this area to work in. So let's hope, let's hope that's right. So we used this one last time and we're going to literally use this one and this one but I'll also show you what this one looks like cut out as well. What I mentioned last time was the fact that I love these dies because although they're very intricate they punch out or not punch out but they die cut really really easily and I just wanted to share that with you before we go any further. So that has literally uh, that's what we're going to finish up with hopefully. This has literally been run through my big shot twice so forward and backwards and that is all I've done with it. No special plates used and I haven't used one of the die cut brushes and all I'm going to do with that is just take out my paper piercer which would now be part of the pickup tool. This is the old style that we used to sell but it's all part of the um, pick up tool now. You see how easily that is being punched out. I'm not going to do all of this because we're not using this piece of card but I just wanted to show you just as I did with the previous die just how easily this comes out. Do a couple round here. And so on. So it's a brilliant um, set of dies and very, very easy to use. But as I said, this is Grapefruit Grove. So that's one of our um, in colours from 2018 to 2020, which sadly will be going. And this one, so I will finish this off and, and make another card using that. But this is the Pineapple Punch, again, another in colour, which is sadly going. So that is more or less the little card that we're going to finish up with. You're off, are you, Ollie? I'm going to make a, a, a grand exit. 
I think we probably all got that thump on the floor on the camera. <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to finish up with, but I'm going to use the lovely lipstick because, as I mentioned in the previous video, I love this colour and I'm desperately going to miss it. But we also said last time that during this time, and, and now uh, this week, our restrictions here in England at least have um, slightly eased, not, not by much, but we're still very much um, social distancing and not being able to get together with friends. So note cards and letters and things like that remain a great way of keeping in touch. So I'm just keeping with that very simple theme of a little note which I've got from the Butterfly Gala stamp set, which is carrying forward. And I'm literally just using this stamp set. I'm using the little tiny butterfly, which is this one, just for a little bit of detail. And then the little note uh, stamp set just to put on the front of the card. So we start with our normal base card of uh, six by eight scored at four on the long side to give me my base card and that is my lovely lipstick it's going to burnish that edge to make that nice and crisp now I want an extra layer on this which is unusual for me and this is at um, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and the equivalent in metric for that would be 9.8 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters and sorry the base card is 15 centimeters by 20 centimeters scored at 10 centimeters on the long side so that's my um, first layer of my card and extremely unusually for me and probably quite foolishly of me but i am actually going to use um, some liquid tombow glue if you've watched my videos before when I've ever used that it's it is kind of a recipe for disaster which is why I don't, don't tend to use it it's a brilliant glue but if you're kind of messy like I am it's probably not the best however with uh, liquid glue you get that little bit of wiggle room as you put your card down and because these layers are so tight and in this instance, I've got to uh, basically go with the liquid glue and hope I don't make too much of a mess, if that makes any sense. So we're going to add that first to the front of the card. I'm going to pick that up very carefully. Just smoothing that out so it hopefully doesn't come out through the edges. And I'm just going to centralise that on the front of my card. Now there is very little of the colour of the base card is going to show through, but we, we kind of want to achieve something that's that looks fairly similar on all sides. And you notice with this I am able to move it around. If that was my normal snail, which I love just really wouldn't it wouldn't work once it goes down it's down and you're you're kind of stuck with your decision hence I've uh, I've gone with the liquid glue so far so good so um, I think my fingers are fairly uh, reasonably uh, unsticky as well so that's good as well so I'm just checking that make sure all the little bits have been um, punched out or poked out with my um, uh, paper piercer I probably need to explain it's Friday afternoon it's been a long week um, brain not actually in gear that well but there we go I, I shall carry on carry on regardless so I'm just going to put a bit round here try and edge it into the areas that have got um, obviously the card that I can stick it down so this bit is, is, is quite uh, lacking in space to, to put glue. So I actually want to make sure I've got enough glue going in areas that will stick down without the glue coming through. So making sure you get some in the corner. And again, I, rather than use snail, 
I'm still going with the liquid glue because I, I want to be able to move this around when I put it on the front of the card. Hopefully it is enough and not too much. This is why I did this one earlier, just to prove that it can actually be done. So I'm again, I'm going in the portrait style with this. Again, at this point, it, it doesn't really matter. You could use it either way. So I'm just offering that down. onto the card underneath and then I can just move that very slightly trying not to he headbutt the tablet which has just happened there so if, that, if it felt like you were on board ship for a moment that was the reason so I can just move that around very very slightly I have got a tiny bit of um, glue that's come out here so I'm just going to pick that up very carefully with my paper piercer. I'm very professional I should just wipe that on the back of my hand on the basis that the back of my hand doesn't normally touch the cardstock. So that is our front of the card that's that's done. I just want to let that settle a little bit so I'm just going to put that under there just to give it a bit of um, an opportunity to just flatten down a little bit and then we can move on to the inside of the card. So I've got a piece of cardstock which is uh, three and three quarters by five and three quarters or 9.5 centimeters by 14.5 centimeters. I should also have said that that was the same size as this, as the front of my card. And literally, this, I lied. This is three and a half, I do beg your pardon. This is three and a half by five and a half. This, it should actually, I, I meant to cut that at five and three quarters, but it doesn't matter. Um, this is three and three quarters by five and three quarters, and it has to be that. Um, size this is why your layers are so uh, slim margins on the layers but it can't be any smaller than that because otherwise the die won't fit onto the card it will overlap and then obviously you lose the the design so we'll stick with the smaller version <laughs> of that it doesn't matter i shall just write less on that card it will just have more of a lovely lipstick border so I've got some lovely lipstick um, ink here, which again, sadly, will be going and the ink pad sadly is no longer available. If you do still have, if you have an ink pad of this, you can buy the ink refill still. So that's, that's good. So I'm just going to put, let's check that now. I'll go with the full inked version of that. So I'm just going to pop that on the. middle of the card a little bit different with this one I'm going to put one down in the middle here as well and I would do the same as I've done on this envelope and just add some butterflies on the corner and in the middle but we won't worry about that um, because it's basically doing what I'm doing with this and just having stamped the butterflies out I'm just adding a tiny shimmer of Wink of Stella because I of course do have to have Wink of Stella on my cards wherever possible just, just adding that carefully Getting, I know, slightly later in the afternoon, so I don't think that is going to show up. But take my word for it, there is there's a bit of glimmer going on there. So there we go. Put the ink 
pad away to prevent accidents and then I'm going to go back to what I'm used to and get my snail out and just then use this to attach the card to the inside of the main card. Which has now had the chance to just be um, have a bit of weight on it and uh, flatten it down to make sure that's nicely stuck down. So that's the front of the card. So this is where I'm going to put the, the inside of the card. Always good to check. So as I say, that's just got more of a, a border going round. But if I was if I was just doing this normally, and I wasn't doing this as part of a video, I would stick with my normal measurement of um, five and three quarters by three and three quarters. But it seriously is not the end of the world um, just to have a smaller area to write your message. So that's part of the card finished. So we want to do something now for the front. Now on this one, I've used I've used this die, and I've literally just cut that out again um, using the, the matching cardstock. So in this case, it will be um, lovely lipstick. But I'm going to do something a little bit different with that. So with this one, I've heat embossed this with gold um, embossing powder. And I've just put that onto the base card. With this one, I'm going to use all three dies. So that will just give you the opportunity to see them all being used. I've got one piece here that hasn't been punched through. So that's fine. So you've got a choice. You could heat emboss this and put it, put it in the middle like we've done on the previous card. Or you could not bother with that one and then just heat emboss using this smaller die. So you could cut that out from your cardstock, heat emboss that. I've gone with silver because I think silver goes better with the pink, but obviously the choice is yours. Um, so you could just have that in the middle on some stamping dimensionals. I'm going to take it one step further and actually have a combination of all three of them. So that's what we're going to finish up with. So we've got uh, the black coming back through um, to, to match the, the, the base of the card, or the first layer of the card rather. So I've, I've done that already, ready to stick it on, but I'm going to attempt to do that for you now. Um, but I've got that in case it all goes horribly wrong because it is quite a fiddly little piece of card to actually work with. So there it is cut out from my black card stock. And I need my trusted embossing buddy. Well, you're back, are you? The desk is out of bounds, but I don't expect you to understand that. Then I need this little stamp, a little note stamp, and I also need my Versamark ink pad, which for one horrible moment I thought I hadn't brought with me. So I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. And then I've got piece of scrap paper and this is where this is quite um, a small piece of paper to, or piece of card to work with so I've actually got some tweezers with me. This, this is a, a crucial point Ollie I really don't want you joining me. Now I'm just going to pour the silver embossing powder across that and then I'm just going to gently pick up the edge of it with my tweezers And just shake off the excess powder. I'll put that in the pot, put the lid on. I'm just going to pick this up again 
and I'm going to use a paintbrush just to take off the excess of any of the silver powder that might be remaining on the card. Now the embossing buddy, as I've said before, is an invaluable little thing. I think it's something like £5.50, but it really does stop the majority of your um, powder sticking where you don't want it. But sometimes you will still get a residue, which is why it's always good to have a little paintbrush to hand. But you just need to be careful that you don't rub out any of your sentiment that you want, obviously, to be heat embossed. So we're going to give that one final shake. And then I'm going to get my heat gun ready. Using the right end of the paintbrush is always a good plan. And I'm going to hang on to that with my tweezers because it's such a small piece of card that you are very likely to burn your fingers. So if I do it this way up, hopefully you'll see this as it turns. I hope you saw that the way that turned them from the grey powder into the silver sentiment. So remarkably that, that went quite well. So why don't we use this one that we've just done. So I've got, got my little cut out here from, the, from this die and I'm just going to then glue this piece of card that we've just heat embossed with the sentiment. With a, complete with the usual cat hair there. Never mind. And I'm just going to stick that in the middle. Of my lovely lipstick cut out there. So we've we've got like a two layered sentiment there. And then I'm just going to attach that to the base card using some stamping dimensionals. Yeah. Now with regard to, you can still buy the 2018-2020 in colour, that is still available to buy. Um, as I say, I did have a piece of paper here with everything written down. Um, I think that's £8.25 still. Um, the pineapple punch matching um, stamping pad is available still, and that's at the normal price of £7. But the Grapefruit Grove, which is this colour, that is still available and I'm sure that that one is, is reduced but I can't remember exactly what it is but I'll put all the details as normal on the front of the video. So if like me you really like the 2018-2020 colours um, I have to say I'm really sad to see them all go because um, unusually I've actually liked all of them. Um, so yeah go, go over to my shop and uh, you can buy those before they, they disappear. I'm just going to pop that in the middle of the card. So we've got a nice florally delicate little card. And of course that sentiment, you could change that up for anything that you wanted to, any sentiment that you, you particularly want to send the card for. So just as, because I've used the butterflies inside, I'm going to carry on with the butterfly theme as we did with the card last time and just cut out three butterflies from some lovely lipstick cardstock. To give a little bit of interest on the front of the card. Or well, additional interest, I should say. It's got quite a lot going on already, in all honesty. But, uh, so we've got our three butterflies. We're going to put some Wink of Stella on them. So it's a couple of weeks or so now um, to the end of the month and the new catalogue actually goes live on the 3rd of June. So there isn't long now to take advantage of stocking up with any of the products from the current catalogue that are not 
carrying through. So as I did before, I'll put the blog post on the front of this video so that you can go in there and check out the um, last chance products list. So that's from both the annual catalogue and the mini catalogue. And I have to say there are some lovely products coming through, very exciting. Um, and some lovely new stamp sets as well. But it's always a, a bittersweet time because there's, there's also lots of things disappearing that um, personally I'm quite attached to, so I shall miss using them on, on videos, for example, on my own personal use. I shall, <laughs> I shall carry on. But it, there's little point in demonstrating um, stamp sets and things that you can't buy anymore. That can be a little bit frustrating. Although I may be making an exception to that because... I bought a while back the Let It Ride stamp set, which sadly isn't carrying through and has already um, sold out. But it's a really good stamp set to um, share how to do some very simple colouring. I'm, I'm rubbish at colouring and yet I can make the horse look reasonably like a horse. So it's um, possibly something that I will do, even though we can't now get the stamp set because it just shows how a larger uh, stamped out image, be that a horse or a flower or whatever, you can achieve quite a reasonable amount of colouring um, with very little skill. Um, and that's the other point as well. The stamping blends currently, you can buy them separately. So the light and the dark version, or you can buy the combo pack. From the next catalogue, you can only get them as a combo pack. So again, this is a time to think about your stamping blends and have you got only got a light one or a dark one and do you want the whole set um, because currently you can still buy them as individual stamping blends so again something I just wanted to mention so with the, my butterflies I have bent them up using my bone folder in the middle just to give them some structure and um, some flight in their wings and in the centre just to lift them up you could use some basic plain rhinestones like these but I'm going to go with these metallic pearls now they come in the gold version which is what I've used on here and then they come it's a, it's a, a dual pack of gold and silver so I'm using the silver on the lovely lipstick to tie in with my um, heat embossing sentiment as well now I mentioned this last time my nails are suffering terribly because of excessive hand washing and also excessive cooking so I've got no nails whatsoever to pick these things up so I'm using this uh, pick it up tool which has got the various ends to it you've got a spatula you've got your paper piercer at the end here you've got a couple of styluses on a separate attachment and you've got this putty um, so having loosened the little elements with my spatula in theory I should be able to get this end with the putty a little bit too much putty on there and I should be able to pick it up and put it down in the middle of the butterfly yeah, it's all going too well isn't it You reckon three out, three out of three? Is that at all possible? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Super impressed. <laughs> and I'm just going to attach that to the front of my card. Let's perhaps just decide where I'm going to put them first. So perhaps we'll have one. You don't really want it on all on the pink because they don't show up too well so you kind of want them here where you've got some black coming through as well so maybe we'll put one there we're doing this one i put that one over there quite like what i did on the last one so perhaps we'll try and stick roughly to that so one over here let's go go with that one first so i'm taking that to my glue dot rescued the one I've just knocked on my, on my lap there we go it was I knew it was all going too well let's 
thin that up. Stick that there. Just raise its its wings up. Taking another one onto the glue dot. So that one can fly that way. Let's have that one over there. And one final one. Onto the glue dot. We'll put that one there. So there we have the finished card. There's the pineapple punch one. I'm hoping they're both coming out on the camera. And I will finish off this one. This is the um, Grapefruit Grove. And I've used, got everything else ready. Um, so I've uh, got my Grapefruit Grove version. Again, I've done a golden um, heat embossing sentiment on there, but for my um, envelope and for the inside of the card, I've actually used very vanilla just for a change. Again, something a colour I don't tend to use, but it works really well with the with the orangey peachy colour. So I'll finish that off and. Uh, I'll be able to use that on social media somewhere. So I think that is it. Um, so that is video number two out the way. Um, so yes, it may well be a family affair for those that you, of you have been missing Ollie and the cameraman. Um, but in the meantime, at the moment, everything I've used today can be purchased with the exception of the lovely lipstick ink pad. Everything else can still be purchased on my online shop. Um, the link will be on the front for that. The stamp set that I've used, the Butterfly Gala and the Butterfly Duet Punch, that they are both carrying through. And I did make mention last time that sadly Snail will be going. It's being replaced by something very similar. Um, but if you, like me, love your snail, then again, this is the time to stock, on that, stock up on that before it disappears. So usual links as always on the front of the video. If you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I, that would be great. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, again, I would I would love that. Um, so if you just hit the subscribe button. So until next time, I do hope that wherever you are, you're safe and you're well. And I will be back again with another project very soon. But until then, do take care. Bye bye.